What's up? It's your boy Remus, and welcome to the Champ Set Podcast, the podcast for champions. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that when you get started, no one else is going to believe in you. No one else is going to be able to see what you see in yourself. That inner vision that you have at the beginning of the time that you say to yourself, I have the desire to be a champion. I have a desire to join the long list of greats that I've been watching before. At that moment, you're alone. I've, I've read hundreds of boxing books. I've read, I've read so, I'm, I've read so many articles. I've read so many biographies of the come up of champions like Mike Tyson to Nassim Hamid to Joe Lewis to Rocky Marciano to Sugar Ray Leonard or Sugar Ray Robinson, and almost all of them you will see the exact same thing, which is this. They all said at the start, no one else was able to believe in them. No one else was able to see what they they saw, which was a cha- They saw themselves as a champion, but no one else was able to see that. So the question is, so the question is, is it wrong? It, are you wrong when you say that you want to be a champion? Well, let me ask you this. Was Sugar Ray Robinson wrong when he said he believed he was a champion before, like when he first started boxing? No. You know why? Because it happened. It actually happened. He ended up winning the championship. He ended up being considered arguably the greatest fucking pound for pound boxer of all time. So he wasn't wrong. So the question is, no. So the answer is no. Maybe you're not wrong. But when you tell people, hey, I want to be a champion, no, 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 you can't do it because of this and that. And then, no, you got to have a plan B because, you know, this is might happen. No, no, no. Remember Muhammad Ali, he, you know, he, 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 he lost. Uh, you know, so many people want to be boxers. You can't be, no. It's all bullshit. It's all insecurities. It's the insecurities that society have taught us. It's a lie. The fact that you can't do it is not a fact. It's an opinion. So it's a lie at least in your reality, if that's what you want. I think, um, I I talk about in Automatic Ambition, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, who obviously is one of the best fighters to ever live, when he first invited his, no, even before that, when he first started training, when he first started training, he would run behind the bus, right, as it was going to school, his school bus, because he just wanted to get extra hours and he just wanted to work. He just wanted to train. He was dedicated and obsessed. So he used to run behind the school bus. And the kids, obviously, as you can imagine, thought, damn, the hell, this guy's crazy. What are you doing? They used to laugh at him. They used to laugh at him. But who was laughing when he changed his life by accomplishing his goals? See, it's funny because everyone laughs at the guy who's trying. The only one doing the right thing is the one who's trying. You're not supposed to sit back. You're not supposed to be comfortable. That doesn't make any fucking sense. But the 99% of the world, well, maybe not as high as that, but 90% of the people around us tell us to be humble. To tell, No, don't say that. How the hell is it offensive to say that you want to be a champion? But it is a sign that Mike Tyson used to say, you know, I didn't. Add, he said in his um, um, in his, in one of his books that Cus had uh, brainwashed him into believing himself so much that he didn't know that when he was walking around as a fifteen year old saying that he wants to be a champion, I'm going to be a champion, I'm the next heavyweight champion in the world. He had no idea that he was um, offending people around him, but he's not offending them because what he's saying is wrong. He's offending them because they don't want to believe it. Because then it tells them, then it then it highlights to them their their low quality, or at least their lack of ambition, or at least their failure to do what they wanted to do. And then back to Sugar Ray Leonard. Of course, the kids, you know, at school thought he was crazy. Fuck it. People are gonna think you're crazy. And then even his parents thought he was crazy. When he, 
he was always known, Sugar Ray Leonard was always known as the timid, shy kid out of him and his siblings. His brother, his older brother, I believe his name was Rodney. And he was the tougher one. He was the tougher one that was, um, they believe, or seemed like if anyone was going to be the real fighter, it would be him, not Sugar Ray Leonard. So when Sugar Ray Leonard invited his parents to come to his fights, they was like, what are you talking, huh? What are you talking about? You're no fire. Imagine telling Sugar Ray Leonard that it doesn't even matter who 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 is coming from. Imagine <laughs> telling Sugar Ray Leonard you're not a fire. And then of course they go and they see and then he makes them into believers. It's something I talk about and I mentioned in automatic ambi- uh, automatic ambition. And then what happens after is his father becomes, he becomes a believer. And then he, his father starts to tell uh, his his friends, so the father's friend, and he's saying, my boy's going to be, he's going to be champion. He's going to be Olympic champion. And even though he was having success in the amateurs, they still thought, they still replied to his dad, nah, he's too small. Nah, he's too, nah, he's not, he's, he's not really going to be something. And he said, his father, who who now was a believer, was like, no, you're wrong. He is. He is. I'm telling you. He is. Like, you just wait. But even him, he wasn't a believer at the start. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter. It first has to come from within. Read, just, just be like me. Read the books and biographies that are out there. Just read them. Just pick one and read them. You'll see it all was the same thing. The all, it all was the same process. Those people became fucking believers after. At first they hated it. At first they rejected it. At first they were envious. At first they were, no, 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 can't be done. Blah, blah, blah. And then it's done. It always can't be done until it's done. It just doesn't make any sense. So my, my, I, I'm begging you. As someone who's dealing with his own issues, trying to get back into fighting, so that I could take advantage of the ability I have, I'm saying don't waste, don't waste it. I'm saying, I'm begging you to believe that it can be done and say fuck, fuck anyone who doesn't believe it can be done. It's already, it's, it's you know, it, it, there's too much evidence in favour of what I'm telling you for you not to believe it. There's too much evidence that proves. There's too many stories. There's too. There's if you do the research, there's just too too much that proves that I'm right, and the people who are gonna say, nah, nah, I don't think, nah, I don't think you can do it. You know, you know, it's a bit mad to say out of all these boxes, you're gonna be the one to win the championship. I think that's a bit crazy. There's too much evidence to prove that I'm right, and they're wrong. That's why I have to make these damn podcasts because. There aren't many people who are going to tell you that when you look at the stories of the champions that came before, it always was the case that people didn't believe, but it actually is very much possible. There are few people who are going to tell you that, so I'm going to tell you that. So my my thing is this. I would say... Oh, excuse me. I would say that no matter what anyone says... You have to have tunnel vision and X that stuff out. You have to just blur it out. You can't even hear it. The affirmation for this should be they're a liar. I know the truth. As soon as as soon as you hear someone, you know, on any level bring you any sort of discouragement, you should be seeking to remove that ASAP. ASAP. They shouldn't be there for they shouldn't be there for too much long. When you start, no one else believes in you. And that's normal. It's normal. It's just normal. It's going to happen. Now, this is this is the trick. Gaining the results, right, is actually getting a practical... It's actually getting practical, physical... Like, it, it's getting your thoughts that just begin in you and are not actually tangible. They're not real. They're just in your head. The work, all of the work is to get that thing to become reality. That 
all of the work that you do is to get your your thought your your thought just to become reality everything that you do so then on the progress towards that what happens is it starts it starts bit by bit brick by brick by brick you start to build it you start to build that life and that's when people begin to believe in you until that until then no one's really going to do it even if they say even if they say if they haven't had enough reason to they're not going to believe in you even if they said yeah that's great that's great mate no they're lying to you until they've seen how it logically makes sense until you've given them something that is in existence that makes them think oh yeah that makes sense actually i can see why he's going to be a champion no one's going to believe it they're all going to think it's a lie and that's okay in that process of building knowing this helps you to not get discouraged by other people think about it. if you know that every champion went through this then not only does it take the power out of the doubters it actually gives power to you because you're saying this is exactly what happened i'm actually on the right path if people aren't believing in me i'm actually on the right path because this is what happened to the hundreds of champions that happened that 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 existed before and then what happens is as you start to win more as you start to and winning more is building that impression of yourself into actual reality as you start to win more as you start to maybe gain popularity or notoriety as you start to get more money maybe get a few interviews here and there you know actually have fights and this out there and for the world to see that is when they come that's when they make the decision because they can actually see it but it's important to know you have to be the first person to see it and that is what makes it reality anyway that's all i'm going to say today fuck the doubters fuck the haters fuck anyone try anyone it doesn't matter who it is anyone trying to stop you to get to where you want to get to or believe you can get to or desire to get to fuck them anyway stay focused let's get it. Shut up.